It wasn't a shit time. It was a really good time. And so, so that's why we're still doing it again, you know? How do I know what you want if you won't talk to me? The very first thing, my neighbour had a cassette of some crappy music. That bit, been a bit jealous that he had a cassette, and I thought that looks kind of cool. And I'd probably get a, I need to get a cassette as well. My cousin got into heavy metal, and then made, he's my best friend, so that made me get into heavy metal. And then we just we sort of got into the whole what is what's going on here? There's some people playing instruments, and then, then that seems pretty cool. That's pretty mental. And then then I guess it just sort of <laughs> we band practice every single week since we're 14, and I can't imagine where that energy would have gone. It's a lot of energy, man, when you're that, when you're you know, bored 14 year old guys. And we just had this, this great sort of um, a work ethic, which I'm not sure if I've ever had since. My first job when I left school was working in a record store, and that was um, really that was a great idea because then you, you're forcibly exposed to a whole bunch of different music, and suddenly you go, "Wow, I kind of like Terence Trent Darby as well, and I kind of like Millie Vanilli, even though they're lying." I had done a little bit of stuff when I was in Push Push, like sort of guest DJing. So friends of mine sort of um, said, oh, you should go on this bar, you'd, you'd be easy to DJ up there. I was just like, yeah, okay, sweet. So I have a new thing coming up, which I'm really excited about. You know, I get to work with my good, good friends again, uh, doing something that, that is a good time and that is um, encapsulates the purest def definition of the word freedom. Breakfast Radio on BFM. We're doing the breakfast show on BFM. But that's when we come back again, I'm really excited. I get to wake up awkward again, and um, I get to um, share that very exciting part of the day with so many people again. We're at the power station in Auckland City, at Mount Eden Road, um, which we must have played at close to 100 times, man. Serious, seriously. And we've played here on our own gigs, we've played here supporting other people, DJed here, supporting bands, I've been down the front bridge bands, I've always had a heart attack, Dumpty the Caius. This is where we saw the Ramones twice, which inspired the, inspired the song Tripping. It was this very room where Marilyn Manson's drummer took a shit in the ice and threw it all around the room and thought it was really rock and roll. But it's a dickish thing to do. It was really cool that people enjoyed it as much as they did and I'm glad they did because we put a lot of effort into it, you know, and um, the enthusiasm that, that was just bouncing back and forth from band to crowd, from crowd to band, from band to crowd, you know, the whole time was cool. I don't want to be slow or older or grown up or, you know, it's like I, I really like what I do and I really like the people I do it with and why would, why would I want to stop doing that? If you can, you should, because otherwise you're not. Mate, there you go, here's your quote. <laughs> I can just fully get into it, eh? Have a mean night. Mean.